Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Virginia Cavaliers and the Texas Longhorns. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Longhorns should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Secondly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. High post flasher is open. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Goes up for two. He buries it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. On the top of the key. He's money with the shot. That's absolutely sensational, even a second time. High post flashes. And he'll kick it back outside. Westbrook picks up the foul. First team foul. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure on the basketball. Now trying to feed the low block. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. High post player flashing. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Makes it. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Westbrook is fired up and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. They've left him completely alone. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They work it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. Bring it hard, or don't bring it at all. Let's face it. The shooting guard handles the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Woodson is getting it done for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The shooting guard receives the pass. He gets that one to fall. He keeps his dribble as they reset. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the tray. They go into the low block. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the outside, Bowen receives the ball, puts it up looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter, he intercepts it. Mr. Nestle, easy bucket coming here. Great shot. 
Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The small forward handles the feed. Up and inside. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Tan on the shot clock. He tries to knock down the three. Drains it. That's a 7-0 run. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They work the perimeter. For two, perfectly executed. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. They'll work it around the arc, trying to feed the low block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Play that back for me one time. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work it around the perimeter. Adam in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. Fakes the jumper down inside. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Leans in. Bowen makes the finger roll. Let's slow it down on the replay. bring it up he attempts the three he hits the tough shot I'll tell you he's knocking him down with ease Brad five second count winding down This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He can't get one to fall. Second shot, no good. He gets the board. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Virginia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. There's the trap. Westbrook comes up with it. What a great strip. For the bucket. He nails the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. 
He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He makes the shot. Coach looks on. Focus. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people. Hey, I think he's missed the first time. Play some hoop. Do a little dance. Team now, bad angle. Gave it up. He dials long distance. He shows the sweet touch. Number 30, pump fakes. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For two, perfectly executed. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He's the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Picked off. See what the mascot was doing after the last dunk? Was he excited or what? He was jumping all over the place. Moving it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. The Cavaliers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. They come with a double team to stop it. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. Step out on that screener. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Texas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. 
wants him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They're working around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? For the bucket. In and out. He grabs the board. Pushing that basketball. He wants a three. Got it. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Here they come now on a turnover. Tries for two. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Control of the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. Dump it inside. Entry pass in the paint for two. Perfectly executed. The replay reveals the deal, baby. They work the perimeter. Got the high pick. Sinks the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gotta take some pride on his defensive end. He takes the fadeaway. He misses the fadeaway. There's the fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He can't miss. Teddy Shep man's feeling it, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. He looks for the bomb. It's good. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. And on the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The skip pass is picked off. Inside. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the angle. He hits it. Here he 
comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying three quarter position. He gets the rejection. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. On that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Picked out of the air. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They're going to move it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. From left of the circle. Way off target. off the lazy pass. And again, they look to run. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for contact. Texas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. He fires it up, sinks it. Starting to change. It really is something, isn't it? Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Trying to execute on the inbounds. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Two for one opportunity. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. In the paint. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBA. On the outside. He rejects it. Has a nice look at the basket from beyond the arc. Goes in. Gave it up. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. At the end of the first half, the Cavaliers are trailing by 18. Texas found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> 
Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. The dribble gives it up. Intercepted. Moving it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's battle to our defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Cavaliers are down by 16. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. The point guard with the ball. Tries for two. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. They work it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. And he scores despite the hack. The small forward takes the feed. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. This young man means so and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. The Longhorns are out of sync, and emotionally, they can't seem to bring themselves up, Dick. I think they've reached that point, Brad. That's exactly what happens when you get away from playing team basketball. Time to pick up the defense here now. He takes it away. On the outside. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. The center gets the ball. There's the trap. Three. Virginia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. fake for the deuce can't get the shot to drop the point guard takes the pass this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job jumps into the defender off the rim and no good away and going the other way in transition for two nice shot and the ball goes out of bounds points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy baskets goes up for two Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets the bucket to fall. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Pump fakes. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The shooting guard gets the pass. He hits it. Hard, hard. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a high screen. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You gotta help your teammate out. You gotta rotate over. They'll work it around the arc. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Stolen away. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He intercepts it. Pushes it up. Stolen ball. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. He buries the shot. This is simply a great play, Brad. He makes a nice shot fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Picked off. Goes up for two. Virginia are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Dribble gives it up. Too physical. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunities. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Definitely a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Takes the shot out of the air. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Fakes the shot. For two, great shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you've got a great post play. you got a chance really to win. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Thanks, Aaron. Steals the ball. down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't blow that baby. He fouled him. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Gets it to fall. The Longhorns are ahead by 13. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Launches away. There was no doubt about that one. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Push the basketball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He takes the shot. He drains it. up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Three. He gets it to fall. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Shoots from the outside. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some blocks this shot. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot is no good. Hits the second shot. Dribble gives it up. Tries for two. I 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals the pass. Long down court pass. Picked out of the air. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the circle. You betcha. Here it is. Think right now, gotta focus defensively. Great defense. And on the break. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's got some room. He throws it up from downtown. Got it. away the pass pushes it on the outside he pulls the trigger rims out for two gets it to go the Longhorns are up by 12 Adam momentary look from three-point land Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he makes the three. Looking for a good shot. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Gave it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Ivy pounded on his way up. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Gets the first shot. Well, the arc looked good. He pulls it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Intercepted. For the deuce. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Blocks the shot. Gave it up, way out on top, controlling the ball. 
He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. They move it into the front court. In the paint. He throws it up from downtown. It's good. Takes the pass in the paint. There it is, Jam City. Let's see the replay. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Sinks the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Way about ready to resume. up for two. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. He goes for the trifecta. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Here's a double team. And on the shot clock. Pressure that basketball. Time's up, Dick. How does a team just flat run out of time like that? Hey, Brad, when a defense is playing like these are, the offensive players become unsure of what shot to take. So obviously, this wastes time. He shoots from outside, off the rim and no good. For the bucket, easy one. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job a oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot up and inside ball was loose but the offense got it back 
Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Longhorns played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.